Welcome back to the channel guys. Nice bright sunny day. Talk about that in a second. Just a quick update on calving. You guys haven't seen much of it in the last two weeks, I believe. But I uh, think we have eight left. So, and there's two that are looking really close today or tomorrow. So, hopefully, we uh, wrap calving up here pretty soon. I will say uh, there's probably going to be a straggler or two. Um, not something you want to admit, but. Uh, this isn't a perfect operation, so we might want to have one or two a cycle, cycle behind or two cycles. But uh, other than that, everybody's looking really good. The feeders are stuffed because we got a really busy weekend ahead of us this weekend. So I'm gonna try. Today's Thursday. I'm gonna try not to feed till Saturday night. We'll see how that goes. There's four bales out here, and the feeders two in each. But calves are spunky. Everything is uh, going perfect so far with calving. Really can't complain. And I shouldn't say it perfect, but uh, it is. So other than that, um, spring is, is here. It's been cold, windy. Uh, we had 30, 40 mile an hour winds for three, four days. And uh, things are starting to green up, grow. There's uh, no, there's no planters going. I believe today's May 4th. Uh, there's some guys doing primary tillage, but uh, absolutely no corn row crop planters. There is a couple guys sneaking in wheat, but uh, that is about it. Uh, probably, if we didn't have rain in the forecast, a guy probably could have threw some corn in for tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday, but uh, they're calling for a bunch of rain. As you can see, this alfalfa is greening up really nicely. Got three, four inches of growth. And uh, I think tomorrow we are going to uh, start uh, broadcasting fertilizer out on our hay ground. So get that uh, get that wrapped up. It'll take a few days. We, we ain't gonna finish before the rain, but uh, Got to start somewhere. So this field, um, this field I didn't take fifth cut. So there's a lot of dead on top, but I will bring you over here. It does look a lot nicer than, uh, than this field, which we did cut it low to begin with. But uh, no winter kill whatsoever that I'm seeing. And uh, this field looks nicer because there's no dead growth on top, but uh, as you can see the growth is a couple two inches shorter so looks are kind of deceiving but uh anyhow still a beautiful sight progress has uh pretty much halted on the new commodity shed um, and one of them windstorms we lost a couple sheets of new tin and uh I guess the builders or whatever, they don't order extra tin. So we had to reorder and uh, that'll be here this end of this week, I believe. Same with the concrete wall, the bunker blocks. We are on the list, second in line to uh, have them start and get made. <clears throat> I'm assuming, I'm assuming them concrete blocks are gonna be a month out yet. I guess I don't know that for sure, but hopefully, uh, Next week I can get together a giveaway video for you guys. But uh, very, very excited for this to be done. <clears throat> so concrete will be a few weeks probably. Uh, and I don't know, I don't, we gotta get in the field. So this is kind of get put on the back burner. They'll finish the building itself. And we actually, uh, added on before we we're even done so 
we added on a 16 by 32 foot lean right here right uh, right out the calf shed so the goal is uh, throw concrete on the floor in here and uh, line the walls and we'll grind our hay into this bay so it'll be kind of a commodity shed grind it up and then we uh, we won't be feeding any hay by hand to the calves so that's the goal we've done grinding hay before and uh, putting it outside works but as you can see we get a lot of snow and rain in the winter so it'll be nice to uh nice to have it indoors but i'll show you what i was working on after chores today i threw a couple buckets of dirt along this wall we got such elevation change i threw i don't know six seven eight bucket loads here and i'm hoping this rain will pack it down As you can see, that is one tall shed. So, like I was saying, um, I believe, I believe next week sometime the building itself will be done, and uh, we'll have to wait on concrete, line in the walls, and uh, the bunker blocks. Like I said, is gonna be about a month out. So. We actually kicked our heifers outside today. They are uh, they are loving it. The bull, he's getting antsy. He's got a while before he can go with his ladies, though. And uh, steers might actually leave this weekend. They might go. Last of the steers might go to the sale barn. But uh, that is still up in the air. There's a lot of animals on pasture. Not that it was a very high, expensive hay year, but I think a lot of people just didn't want to buy it. So, calves look really, really nice. Them are some nice replacements right there. That's about it for this week's video, guys. Just short and sweet update. Um, see what the rain does. Hopefully, we are in the fields. Action's gonna pick up. And uh, the calf catcher, some of you guys were waiting for that. Oh, the last couple calves, I don't know, the last four or five cows were actually our really good cows, so we haven't even used it yet. But uh, I'll get some footage of that, hopefully before this end of calving season. And uh, we'll go from there. If you're new here, uh, Please hit the subscribe button, it really helps out growing this channel and uh, let us know what you want to see. We will uh, continue showing that, showing our operation and uh, like I said, let me know if you have any questions. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow along and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Talk to you later. You know, I was so busy talking to you guys, I uh, actually almost forgot to uh, bring the skid loader back up. Have a good week, everybody. Thanks for watching.